Hello everybody, this is Carlos Ocelot and I'm here to talk to you about our past, our present and our future uh, within the context of our League of Legends team. You know, approximately three years and a half ago, we ended up qualifying for what was then the EULCS, now called LEC. And uh, during those three years in the EULCS, we've gone through a lot of ups and downs and, you know, a lot of successes and failures. But overall, there were three things that we've always, you know, worked with and were always within our compass. First of all is our ambition, undeniable ambition in everything we do. Second of all is the fact that we've always looked to entertain everybody by creating rivalries, drama, storyline, and make just, you know, yourselves be happier when watching the game. And third of all, you know, we were incredibly committed to the success of the organization as a whole, including every single area, uh, you know, within your imagination. 2018 was a good year um, as a G2 fan, and we, you know, thank you so much for your support, both to G2 fans and fans from other teams that have been supporting our team in our top four uh, world run. But with that said, 2018 wasn't always that level of success. EU LCS, we did not win the title, even though we came, you know, the previous two years from winning it four times in a row. And that definitely kind of hurts. It burns a little bit. And when I look and, and I go back to what I said before about us having success as a number one priority, when we look at what we wish to accomplish, we definitely see G2 Esports needing to win the AULCS. Uh, we definitely see G2 Esports succeeding internationally consistently in all tournaments. So as a result of these incredibly high and ambitious goals that we have for ourselves, um, we have decided to make an incredibly radical lineup change. And I know not everybody is on board with this change, but we definitely are and are very confident that this is the right choice. As you guys know, we are picking Caps, former Fnatic mid laner, as a mid laner for us. Uh, Perks is moving from the mid lane into the AD carry role, or Marksman, I guess you call it nowadays. And Mickey X will join him in lane, one of the best supports in the Western world, incredibly good in lane. So, with this lineup, we intend to accomplish what is a, and has always been a dream of ours, and a dream of mine personally. Um, which is winning worlds. I could never win worlds as a player as I was never good enough and my current job allows me, gives me the opportunity to get closer to that goal even in a, uh, I guess, less meaningful uh, capacity, right? So when I look at this lineup and I look at what it can accomplish, I have zero doubts that this is the very best lineup any team can get. And it makes me actually very, very happy. Why is that? Because you always have to make sacrifices. You always have to make compromises. Sometimes you have way too many imports and you cannot add another import um, because the rules won't allow you. Sometimes the player that you want is under contract and costs you millions of dollars to buy him out. This time is the very first time where if you ask me, Carlos, would you change anything from this lineup? I would say 100% now. Uh, we are all here in this office and I hope you YouTube fans as well, incredibly excited of this move and we hope to make a lot of noise and hopefully bring the title home, uh, the one that we all dream of. We're confident that this is gonna work uh, for many reasons. Look at reason number one, you look at Caps and what he accomplished last year with Fnatic, it was unbelievable. And he was, of course, surrounded by great players, but he himself played uh, really well and together with Perks, they were both the best uh, mid laners in the West, you can say, right? Now, this leads me to Perks, which of course was our mid laner before, and now he's moving into the AD carry role. And the way he sees this is, you know, he wants to expand his lane kingdom from the mid lane into the bot lane, and he's incredibly confident as well that he can do it. And I wouldn't doubt Perks. He has the eye of the tiger and he thinks he can accomplish it, he will accomplish it. And together with Perks, we have Mr. Mickey X, previous misfit, and now he's surrounded by kings, and he wants to become one himself. So, uh, your question would be, does he have what it takes to become a king? And my answer is clearly yes. Uh, we all trust that this is the case. We all trust that um, he has the level and the potential to accomplish it. 
and hopefully we're able to see in 2019 what he's able and capable of. Of course, this leads us to Wadid and Jarnan and uh, the very hard decision of them not being part of our uh, starting roster for 2019. You know, this wasn't a decision that, that we took lightly and it wasn't a decision that we took quickly either. In fact, it took a long time to process what it was that we wanted to do. And um, there was a lot of, you know, brainstorming, a lot of ideas bouncing around, which unfortunately, before they became a decision, became public. And we, we don't, as an organization, we don't speculate. We are very decisive. So as a result, the moment we knew what was happening in 2019, um, the moment we knew what was the direction we wanted to take with our lineup, uh, we let our players know. And not only that, but we told them and reassured them that we were going to help them secure their future uh, here or elsewhere. So now, coming into 2019, uh, there's a new league, the LEC, that everybody is super hyped about. It's a new team and there's a fresh approach into everything we're doing. Fresh and improved approach. But all of this with the same very high ambitious goals that we always had. Uh, 2019 is a year that we truly hope all of you fans and uh, from G2 and fans from other teams alike um, will be entertained by and hopefully we can get some goosebumps out of you, some smiles, some laughs, some uh, maybe crying, hopefully not. <laughs> uh, we just want to get into your hearts and want to make sure that this upcoming league and season uh, for you and for our team is fantastic and excellent. Thanks so very much for your support. This is Carlos from G2 and we love you very much.